When I graduated elementary school in 2013, I made my way to high school in the September period, the fall period later in that year, and in one of my extracurricular learning assessment courses, I had myself a teacher that was very, very big into hockey. He is like as big of a hockey fan as you can get. And still, to this day, I keep in touch with him, he keeps in touch with me, I follow him on Twitter, he's out there engaging with the community, and the Canucks community especially. But in this class, when I was 13 years old, just recently turned 13, this teacher of mine one day sat me down and he showed me the brand new issue of the Sportsnet magazine that was coming out at the time. And on the cover was an OHL player with an Erie Otter sweater across the front and plastered right smack dab in the middle of this magazine cover were three words that would define this entire player's career. Better than Crosby. This magazine was talking about Connor McDavid, how he just recently wrapped up his exceptional status 15-year-old year in the OHL, and how in his year after, his 16-year-old year, he was going to go out there and be an absolute force in the Ontario Hockey League. Connor McDavid was given exceptional status to play in the OHL as a 15-year-old in 2012-2013, where he was a point-per-game player with 66 points in 63 games played. That's a mark that for a guy who is literally barely just out of grade 9 is absolutely phenomenal. And now Connor McDavid is in a spot where he is the best player in the world. Well, give it a few more exceptional status picks later. You have Joe Valeno in the QMJHL, you have Shane Wright in the OHL, he's doing pretty well. But you go back to that label, the exceptional status label, and you see Connor Bedard, who is the most recent recipient of this award. He was given exceptional status in the WHL, and as a guy who is still 15 years old right now, we're just a few weeks into his WHL career. And we're making this video here because just the stat line itself, never mind the talent, never mind the shot, never mind the skills, just the stats, just the numbers you see when you open up the scoreboard. You had that magazine back in 2013 talking about how McDavid was better than Crosby. If Sportsnet goes ahead and tries to make that again this year, I wouldn't be surprised if they thought about putting Connor Bedard's image with the words, better than McDavid on the cover. Because right now, Connor Bedard, after playing 12 games in the WHL this season, he is first in the league in points with 22 in 12 games played. He's leading the league in points per game and points and he's 15. Connor Bedard is playing on one of the worst teams in the league last year in the Regina Pats because they had the first overall pick and they chose Bedard with that pick. And he is making the WHL his playground. And the reason I'm saying the better than McDavid thing, I don't want to make it seem like he is going to be better than McDavid flat out, in the same way that the Sportsnet magazine back when I was in grade 8 was insinuating that McDavid would be no holds barred better than Crosby, but just the pure numbers point of view, just the stats alone, Connor Bedard is at almost two points a game in the WHL as a 15-year-old. Connor McDavid, when he was 15 in the OHL, was just over a point per game. In fact, he was 30th in the OHL in points that year. Take a look at all the guys that outproduced 15-year-old Connor McDavid in the OHL. You had Nikolai Goldolbin, Mark Shifley, Tyler Grayovac of all people. You had Max Domi and Kirby Reichel, Ryan Strom. First in the league was Vincent Trocek. That's cool. But this year in the WHL, Connor Bedard is first. Take a look at who's second in the league in points, or at least second in the tie. That's a three-way tie for second right now. Peyton Krebs is listed as second right now. And you know who Peyton Krebs is? Peyton Krebs was a top draft prospect in the 2019 draft. People were saying at the beginning of the 2018-19 season that Krebs could go as high as like fifth overall. 
Now, he didn't go top five because he had a foot injury and it really prohibited him from actually being able to play. He went 17th overall to the Vegas Golden Knights, but still Peyton Krebs is seen by many people as a very high tier caliber prospect, an elite prospect, mind you. And Connor Bedard is outproducing him. Peyton Krebs was drafted in 2019. Connor Bedard is going to be drafted in 2023, and this guy's already better than some of the guys that were drafted in 2019. So, just the pure analytical numbers point of view, Connor Bedard is already arguably the best player in the WHL, playing against, you know, you have the draft eligible guys, the 17, the 18 year olds over there. You have some of the guys that are a little bit younger than that because they're born after the draft date. Some of them may be 16 years old. You have the overagers, the 18, 19, 20 year olds even. And Connor Bedard is the best in the league at the time of this recording with 15 years of life experience under his belt. He's still going out there worrying about how he's going to pass his driver's test. He's still in ninth grade. And he's first in the WHL in scoring over guys that are already making hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like Peyton Krebs already signed his entry level contract. And it's crazy because Connor McDavid wasn't even this dominant in the OHL when he made his debut there. Now, I will say the OHL is a better league than the WHL, but the consensus seems to be that the WHL is a lot more physical and a lot more defensively minded than the OHL is just in terms of the overall style of play. So the fact that 5'10", 100-something pound Connor Bedard can come out here and be as good as he has been is absolutely phenomenal. 15 years old, he's turning 16 in July, he is born in 2005, and his WHL production has been on top of the league. Now, yes, he did play in Sweden, and he did get up to speed by playing with some other Junior 20 and Junior 18 clubs. Yeah, he did, but still, he's out here doing this thing. You want to discredit him from that because he played elsewhere before? I mean, other players had the opportunity to suit up in the AHL, for example, before heading over back to the WHL. So where's their caveat? And even just beyond the numbers, just taking a look at how this guy plays. You know he belongs. You know he's automatically one of the biggest game changers on the ice every time he takes a shift out there. He attempted the Michigan the other night let alone being a 15-year-old casually leading the league in points and outscoring some guys that are already drafted into the NHL. But go out there and try the Michigan as well, because hey, you've got the chance to do it. And he tried. It didn't work, but it was close. Connor Bedard is straight carrying his team right now, and it's not even close. So, you know... I guess if you're going to go out there, if anybody has a baby coming along the way, first off, I hope the absolute safety to whatever birthing conditions exist wherever you are, because we are still in a pandemic. But if you want to have a child that's going to be a very good hockey player, just name him Connor. No big deal. Connor Bedard, Connor McDavid, even the guys in the OHL last year, Connor McMichael. You have Connor McLennan as well in the WHL right now, who is one of the top scorers as well. He's not Connor Bedard good, but he's out there. He's good. So yeah, name your kids Connor. That's the lesson for today. Talk to me in the comments what you think about Connor Bedard and how he has just absolutely blown away every expectation that we have had about him in the WHL. To me, it's looking more and more like he's going to be first overall just because even though Matvey Mishkov is indeed very good, the contract situation is a big deal. So with Connor Bedard being as good as he is, I'm sure it's given a lot of teams out there a lot more reinforcements towards saying, eh, why don't we just take Bedard? Yeah, that wouldn't be seen as a consolation prize in the slightest, but... Regardless, talk to me in the comments. What do you think about Bedard? What do you think about the Pats, the WHL, the Connor McDavid comparisons? Again, I'm not saying anything stylistically or magnitude of importance in comparison to McDavid. I'm just saying numbers point of view. McDavid was a point per game at 15. Bedard is almost at two. Bedard is up and away first in the league in points in his 15-year-old year. McDavid was 30th. Just the standards of how well these guys are playing relative to the rest of their competition. Bedard is outclassing McDavid in every category. So talk to me in the comments about that. I hope you enjoyed this video. So I'll show you the nine. And bye. <laughs>